Hi and welcome to another episode of PeaceMeg TV. In today's Reaper tutorial we're going to be taking a look at working with effects parameters and how we can automate those effects parameters to create quite cool effects. So let's see how we can do that. So what I've got in front of me at the moment is a simple case of an effect that I've created to give it a sort of lo-fi effect. So if I play that back you'll see what I've done through the EQ and the kind of effect that we've got there. Okay, so if I now play this, you can see the effect that we've got applied to this track. Like I say, we've just got a kind of lo-fi effect to make everything sound thin and tinny. So I'll just play that. That's with the effect on. That's with it turned off. And back on. So like I say, it's just a thin and tinny effect. So we'll close that down. And what we're going to do is we're going to control the amount of that particular effect that's been applied to this specific track. So if I open up the trim panel, you can see what that gives us. It gives us a lot of options, and they're all based upon each of the plugins or each of the effects that we've got associated with this particular track. So you can see that I can control my Easy Mix instance, I can control the different parameters for my recomp, and for the two recues that I've got on the in addition to the normal parameters, we can control like the volume, the pan and the width, pre and post effects. So what we're going to do is we're going to control the wet and dry mix of this. So if I just click to enable that, you see that will bring up our automation lane. And at the moment, this has given us 100% wet mix. In other words, all of the effect of that req is being applied to this track. So if I press play, you'll hear we're getting a 100% wet mix. <laughs> So there's our thin and clean lo-fi effect. So what we're going to do is we're going to control the mix of that through controlling the wet and dry via this particular automation lane. Now we're going to control this in a simple fashion where we're going to add specific points in where we want them and then we're going to control the sort of fade or the mix of those two particular elements. You could, if you wanted to, like I've covered in a previous video on dealing with effects parameters, you could map these to a control surface and then you could record your movements as you play it using either a slider or a, a, a typical volume knob kind of thing. And you can control it that way. You could even draw the effect that you want in there if you want to sort of pan around and have a mix of strange effects. But we're going to keep it simple. We're just going to add the points in and control a very simple, straightforward effect so you can see how it all works. So adding these points to our automation lane is pretty straightforward. All we need to do is hold the shift key down on the keyboard and what you find then is when you take your mouse pointer over the actual automation lane line, you can click, add a point and as you can see it changes to a little arrowhead as opposed to the normal symbol. We can click and add a second point in. And what we're going to do now is if I drag the line down from beyond our second point or if I drag the second point itself down, we're going to create a mix effect. So as it goes from 100% wet, it'll slowly transition through until it gets to 100% dry. In other words, no effect being applied. So let's have a listen to what that sounds like now. Just take this back. So you can see it's transitioned from being 100% wet at the top at the beginning through from 100% down to zero, and then we've got a completely dry track after that. Now obviously I could do the same thing in return if I wanted to sort of bring this back up in the mix. I could just hit the shift key on the keyboard, click to put my two points in, in this instance, drag the line back up, and if we go back on there, we've got the dry mix now fading into the 100% wet mix. <laughs> Now, obviously, you're not limited to being 100% uh, dry or wet. You can control that as much as you want. You can mix this to any level that you want. You might say, well, I want to have 50%. Well, there you go. You've got a 50% mix of wet and dry. And you can do this wherever you want in the track. You can put as many points as you want. You can create it in any kind of shape or form that you want. That really is all there is to this particular effect. And if it's used creatively, you can create some quite cool effects. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please hit the subscribe button below. If you've liked the video, please hit the thumbs up below. It really does help. If you've got any comments, feedback, or suggestions on this video or any other videos that we've got on the Peacemake TV channels, please pop those in the comment section below. If you've got any ideas for future videos, 
pop those below, let us know, and we can take a look at creating videos for you in the future covering the topics that you're interested in. Until next time, happy mixing.